Hi, my name is Aristide from Metabolism of Cities and in this video we'll explain what is a material stock and what can you do with it. A material stock, you, have to, you can see it all around you. It's the lamp behind me, it's the walls behind me, it's the building I'm in, it's the camera I'm filming the, this video with. It's everything that is around us within our economy that stay within the economy for more than a year. So, in other words, it's a flow that came from somewhere, so it can be within your city or from outside your city, and that it's stored and stationed within your city for more than a year. This can be trees, this can be buildings, this can be cars, this can be a huge variety of products that we have within our cities. Why it's so important to know what, a material, what is the material stock of your city? In other words, it is to know how, how much your city weighs, how much materials you have within your own city. This is what we call an urban mine or a, a mine of secondary materials that you could reuse for other things. For instance, the wall behind me is probably made of uh, bricks. Um, well, these bricks, if we if we decide that this building is obsolete and we want to deconstruct it, then all of these bricks could be used to another building. But in order to use it in another building, you need to know how many bricks you have, what type of quality there is, what type of materials are within these bricks. Are they, you know, uh, um, cement bricks? Are they um, clay bricks? Whatever they are. Um, and so ideally, a material stock uh, analysis would provide you with, let's say, a map of all of the materials within your city. You know where they are located. You know how much you have. You know when they're going to come out. Well, of course, this is very difficult. This is just an estimation. So imagine again taking a building. You know that in general, every 20 years we might change the windows or every 30 years we might change um, the flooring every 50 years we might change the roof etc etc so we can have some approximations of how long the materials will last within our material stock and when and where they will appear if you have this type of map so a dynamic material stock analysis it can help you start thinking about okay what will i do with all of these materials when they're gonna pop up will i have sufficient other constructions that will absorb all of these materials? Will it become new resources or will, or will it become more waste? And unless you have this information, and this information is shared with, um, with people who construct, with people who plan the city, with people who uh, consume the city as well, like um, citizens ourselves, well, unless you have this information, then probably all of these materials will become waste. Another thing that's very great with all of this, with measuring the stock and actually spatializing your stock, is to know if you want to put a storage uh, from a building, uh, so that stores materials from a building to another, all of the materials that you do not need anymore but could be useful for someone else in a second life, well, you can start mapping where this storage infrastructure could be. So if you want uh, a brick, um, storage infrastructure, well, you will put it where there is more bricks, right? Uh, if you want, um, I don't know, furniture infrastructure uh, or office furniture um, um, storage infrastructure, then you will start putting this storage infrastructure closest to where you have the highest uh, high-rise um, office towers, right? Or where there is the more rotation, so uh, office uh, offices that rotate every couple of years and therefore create a lot of out, uh, outflows of, um, of furniture. Uh, lastly, this also can help you to understand how much jobs could you create if you would like to reuse materials from one activity to another, from one need to another need. Um, if you know how much and where, you can start thinking well, what is the critical mass for me to make enough money to hire someone to have a viable business? If you don't have the numbers, then it's very difficult to know if reusing, if uh, recycling, if remanufacturing is a viable business within a city. These are some of the ways that you can use 
material stock analysis. Others can be forecasting, you know, waste flows, etc., etc. And this is a central piece to what we call a circular economy in cities. So let me know what uh, inspires you here. What is the, the use of measuring the stock within cities and how could you use it in your own uh, studies, research or job? Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Cheers.